Dina, you know, there, there are a lot of people here who traveled great distances to be here. here. I'm, I'm happy, happy to say our next, next guest thought of us so highly, highly he, he walked, walked across, across the street. The street. He did. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> serving his 38th term as mayor of the city of Toronto, John Tory, ladies and gentlemen. John Tory. This is how he found his way. He wore a white now, you know, what, 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 what the Toronto what Christmas party was? Well, yeah, you're, you're in the, in the, in the festive, festive spirit so. yourself. Oh. Now, now, you know, you said, I think the first time I've ever been live with you on TV. I believe and so. And I just yeah. have one observation. You look much older in person. Wow. Really? Wow. Wow. I thought he was going to say something else. I thought he was going somewhere else. You know, just in time for the season, it's a Christmas roast, everybody. Well, you do have that super power glow. <laughs> we'll leave that alone for now. I'm very happy this is happening. I'm so happy that you're here. How amazing is it to be in this venue with us, celebrating this way with so many incredible people across the street from your office? Well, you know what? It's great. It is right across the street from my office. And what's really great is there's so many people who watch you. And I know when I was out door to door, I mean, all kidding aside, although it was partly kidding, the number of people who told me at the doors when I was campaigning in the fall that they enjoyed me poking fun at you. No, seriously, and they liked it. They sort of seem to think you deserve it. And I think you do. Let's pull the elector in here. Let's pull. Do you like it when Mayor Tory rips me up on TV? Well, then I, I'd say it's unanimous. The people have spoken. You have 85% support in the room, Mayor Tory. You're really doing joy. And they sort of see you sort of shrink inside yourself, sort of like this. No such thing. Yeah, no, you do. I know you do. Especially when it comes to the Leafs, by the way. Oh, I know. I know. I look, I know they didn't have a good night last night, but are you, you're, and you're still on their case, I assume. No, no, listen. The Toronto Maple Leafs, yes. I'll say this with you here, yes. are one of the best teams in the National Hockey League. Oh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is a major admission on the part of Sid here. Honestly. Yeah, you're coming around. Mitch, there's, there's, there's two players I will never rip again, regardless of what the Leafs do or don't do in the postseason. Austin Matthews is one. And Mitch Marner is one of the best players in the world. I agree. He's I one of the best players in the world. It takes some people longer than others, but that's okay. There's a but. There's a but. but everyone else is oh, on the table. Oh, here we go. No more failures. No more failures. Everyone else is on the table. I'm not ripping Mitch or Austin. I can't. There's, they're two amazing young hockey players. So I'm starting to, I see the look you're giving me. I can feel your look. I just think you're coming around. That's all. It's always nice to see somebody coming around after a long time in the wilderness. Yes, not to, not, not to be cemented in our views, Mayor Tori. As, as you know, we can, we can all change. Um, it, look, it's great to see you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm here with, I'm with you. We're in this beautiful Sheridan Center Hotel. And the, the one thing that comes to mind is, especially in the depths of what we've been going through the last couple of years, is tourism in the city. I'm seeing this. They've done a great job with this hotel. What are you seeing? What are the numbers like internally in terms of the city coming back? Coming well? back yeah. really well. Now, what's happened is a lot of domestic travel and close-in United States travels come back. So the hotels are at about 75% occupancy, which is still below where it was in 2019, but it's coming back. And so now we need the international travel to come back. And let's be candid, not as much of that is going to come back until the weather changes again in the spring. But I think by next spring, the shows are coming back, meaning the conventions and so on, uh, and people will start to travel again. So uh, fingers crossed. But these, these people have done a great job hanging in there, first of all. You know, the occupancy was down to like 2 or 3% during the worst of the pandemic. And uh, so to all the people who work here and at all the other hotels and restaurants, they've hung in there. And next year, I think, is really going to be better because the numbers are on the upswing. Speaking of, the hotel was sold out here at the Sheridan Center last night because we have the best viewers in the world who wanted to enjoy and be a tourist in their own city. Are we going to see more? It's sold out for that reason. It's sold out because Sid had 42 rooms booked, one for his makeup artist, one for his caterer, one for his dresser. He has a dresser like the king, you know, where somebody comes and puts that jacket on him and so on. So one, for my one for his trainer. Don't have a trainer. That's a joke. Trainer, yeah, that is a joke. I wanted to talk. Anyway, uh, that's why it was sold out. But nonetheless, it's good news. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Tell us, what are you going to do for the Christmas holidays? I always say you work 24-7. Please tell me you're going to carve out some time to enjoy Christmas. Well, with I will, will. But, but I tell I you, on Christmas Day this year, I'm going to be here in the city, and I'm going to do something. Actually, my grandmother, quite seriously, took me probably when I was really young, and I'm going to go to uh, Meals on Wheels, uh, where they're going to be d delivering meals to people who can't, who are by themselves on Christmas, and I'm going to go to the East York uh, Christmas dinner where they take meals out to four or five hundred people who are alone in East York and do a bit of that because I hope that it, we all should maybe just do a little something like that. I'm very fortunate and um, so I think it's just a little bit of time that was spent and certainly remember, I remember my grandmother taking me to do that and she sort of said, 
this is going to teach you something that's really important. So, but I'll celebrate and have fun and open presents. The human face, they see that day, right? So not only providing a nourishing meal, but being there. Exactly. Now, that might scare people when I show up. They're going to go, oh, my God, what's he? I'm here from the government. I'm here to help. You know, but nonetheless, that's what we'll do. That's the true spirit of the season. It is. giving to those in need, being there for those, lifting each other up. And i got to ask you, is there a Christmas carol that you love, that when it comes on, you crank it up, you're like, this is my jam, whether you're helping a cook at home. I will confess. Oh, holy night. I just love this, the music of that. I mean, I, I want to hear Tori sing Oh, holy no, night. No, 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 no. Okay. No, they no solo hats. <laughs> no funny hats, no solos. No solo. No solo. We, need, we need the lyrics. We need, we're a little rusty on the lyrics. Um, finally, do you still enjoy being mayor? Why do you enjoy being mayor? You're, this is not an easy city. This is not, listen, for politics, period, this is not an easy time for a lot of reasons. No, but you know what it is? It's a great city, and we love it. And so I thought if I worked for another four years to try and make it better with a lot of other people on the council and, you know, uh, that I could make it better because we have some things to do here with people who are experiencing homelessness, especially people who are suffering from mental illness. A lot of things to do to make it better. So I enjoy the job. I like being up in the morning, early in the morning like you. And uh, so uh, there's lots to do. Instead of bringing joy to the world, he's bringing, he's bringing I'm going to try something new here. Let's see if it sticks. Joe Toe to the world. John Tory. Joe Toe to the world. Joe Toe to the world. It's a It's a stretch. Okay, fine. Really I'll good. work on a better you're name fine. for you. Talk on six and a half out of ten. Okay. Santa Tory. I know you're an elf. Yeah, you're best. He's an elf. Santa's nearby, so i got to ask you, Elf Tory. Yeah. Has he been naughty or nice for real this year? Well, Because Santa's listening. He tries her. You know, he means well. So I, I, think he, I think he should get sort of, you know, a special dispensation. He should get a lump of coal in his stocking to indicate the parts that aren't so good, but maybe a small gift just to sort of encourage him to be better. Okay. Yeah. Still on my heart. You, no, There's so much love here. You. Did he give you six and a half out of ten? Yeah, he did. Uh, for the line. How for about the line. eleven? How about eleven? Eleven out of ten oh, for you, and we'll that's we'll, nice. we'll put him Guys, over give it up, Mayor John, Mayor John Tory. Tory. He's got to go back to work, unfortunately. And you know, I'm going to go and give him a hug because I love him. Oh, I'm going to give you a hug. I love him. Being ushered off now that I usher myself ritual. off. Everybody, Everybody give them a ho, ho, ho. ho. It's off to work, you go. Off to work. That's oh. it, exactly. Miracles are happening. Spirit of the season. More after this.